The seven seals of Revelation 6 reveal Christ's second coming in the time of the end. The first seal is when the U.S. rode out in the war on terror after 9-11. The second seal, Iran takes peace from the earth, World War III, which wakes up all Christians to the end time. The third seal is when Babylon the Great is destroyed by fire. The fourth seal begins the last seven years of the end time and the Great Tribulation. I watched as Christ opened the first seal. There was a white horse. Its rider held a bow. He was given a crown and he rode out as a conqueror in the U.S. War on Terror. That was George W. Bush in the U.S. after 9-11. When Christ opened the second seal, a fiery red horse came out. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and make men kill each other. To him was given a great battle. Now is the time. The violence you have done to Lebanon will overwhelm you and terrify you. You killed people, destroyed lands, cities, and everyone in them. Then U.S. creditors will suddenly wake up and make America tremble then she will become their victim. This is all from Habakkuk 2. Christ said, be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. But Christians were asleep. Then suddenly, Iran took peace from the earth. U.S. creditors made America tremble. And then all Christians woke up to the end time. The parable of the ten virgins describes the wake up. The beginning of the end time was like ten Christians waiting for Christ's return. Five were foolish and five were wise. The foolish had Bibles, but not the Holy Spirit. The wise had Bibles and the Holy Spirit. Christ was gone a long time and all Christians had fallen asleep. Then the cry rang out, See, Christ is coming. Come out to meet him. Then all Christians woke up and checked their Bibles. In time pastors had said to themselves, where is this coming he promised? Everything goes on as it has since the beginning. But they deliberately forgot what Christ said. Be on your guard, I have told you everything ahead of time. Then it happened as he said it would. Christ opened the first two seals of Revelation 6. Iran took peace from the earth, waking up all Christians to the end time and Christ's return. This is all spelled out in prophecies of scripture. These prophecy teachers say the rapture happens before the seven seals of Revelation 6. I say the second seal Iran war happens next. 2003, God called me to be a watchman for his people, to warn them of what was coming on the world and call them to repent of their ways and turn to his ways while there's time. In September 2009, Jehovah, God, told me that Iran will fulfill the second seal prophecy when he said this, The red horse symbolizes Iran. I've stirred up the kings of the Medes because of my purpose to destroy Babylon. Babylon the Great. Then Yeshua opened the third seal, and there was a black horse. Its rider held the balance of power. Then I heard a day's wheat for a day's wages, and a day's barley for a day's wages, but do not damage the oil or the wine. Russia's leader is the rider on the black horse. The seven seals of Revelation 6 and the time of the end. The first seal, U.S. War on Terror. Second seal, World War III. Matthew 25, all, church, all the churches wake up. The third seal, Babylon the Great, is destroyed by fire in one day and one hour. The fourth seal begins the last seven years of the time of the end, including the Great Tribulation. The time of the end began on 9-11-2001. According to Daniel 12, end-time prophecy couldn't be completely understood until the words of the scroll, Revelation 6, were opened. Since 9-11, the words of the scroll have been opened, and a comprehensive study of the end time has been done and written in these books by Richard H. Perry. However, the only book I recommend is the Bible.